Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10120. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10074. As of recording this, this build is also an unleaked and unreleased build, meaning the public do not have access to it, meaning this is sort of a first look at this new build. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are in Cortana. Cortana is now sporting the dark theme and she also has the mini Cortana when you use Hey Cortana. So it almost worked there, but Hey Cortana doesn't seem to be working for me right now. It pops up, but she's not actually listening. Uh, this may just be a bug, an isolated issue for me. But uh, yeah, so I can't actually demo Hey Cortana, but that's what it looks like when Hey Cortana is activated. Other than that, Cortana is pretty much the same. She still has her hamburger menu here, access to reminders, notebook, and places, and other things. Music, help, settings, and I and feedback, which allows you to send feedback via the feedback app. Now, the other changes in this build are in Spartan. As you can see here, Spartan finally has a new tab page, and it's a good one as well. So up here you get your top sites. As you can see, I've got Facebook, YouTube, Amazon, eBay, BBC, Yahoo, Wikipedia, and Twitter. Clicking on any of these will just take you to the said website. Below that you get an MSN.com-like style, which gives you lots of news and stuff. Your weather up here, featured apps. You get a news ticker here which with the, of the top stories. Uh, you can scroll down and it's just pretty much news upon news. Clicking on any of these will take you to a new tab on msn.com. So that new tab page is very nice. If we close out of this and let's go back to it. Okay, that almost crashed. Up here you can get your account, change account settings, view Microsoft account and open in, in private window. Yes, Spartan in this build now has in private mode. So you can now browse your secret websites. Uh, without having Spartan track your history so you can go to any website you want in the world and nobody will ever know so there you go if you go into settings here you'll see that uh, the favorite, everything's pretty much the same here. there's a couple of new icons some settings are managed by your administrator start up with a new tab web page etc etc uh, carrot browse you know all these things you've seen before so nothing new here if we dive into settings or the start menu quickly, you see that I believe that's a new icon. I'm not entirely sure. It looks new to me. That may just be me forgetting what the old icon looked like, but that looks new. Now the settings app, if you go into an area, the back button is now in the title bar as seen here. So you press back and it works much like you would expect. But other than that, this is pretty much the same. Nothing really new in this settings app, I do not believe. So that's about it for this build guys. Not a lot, not a lot of changes, but the changes that are present are good changes. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.